On January 6, 2022, Rwanda Development Board released a list of 18 hotels and restaurants that have been sanctioned for not complying with COVID-19 preventive measures. Airport Inn Hotel has been shortlisted as one of the hotels that are to serve a three-month temporary closure and a fine of 150,000 Rwandan francs. Charles Kaisire, the owner, explains the situation and also notes that the penalties in this announcement are of last year and that it has caused confusion to their clients. At the airport, some of the passengers that came from Ethiopia received a list of closed hotels and our hotel is also included. And as you can see, we are working. We request that whoever did the report should be clear on the hotels that were sanctioned last year and the recent ones. Some of the passengers from different countries that made reservations to these hotels say that this confused them at the arrival and request that it should be clear to avoid additional expenses that may be done because of misunderstandings, such as booking other hotels. I had a call from my sister. She called and she was like, um, which hotel are you coming in? And then we mentioned this one, Airport Inn Hotel. But then she said it was closed and it was penalized with, I think, 150, that's what she said. And we were a little bit confusing because when we came, the immigration stumped and when we mentioned the hotel we were coming in, we didn't have any issue. But then that little information triggered everything. It may, it may cause um, uh, more expense with the people coming outside the country, coming inside. To, we, they can book some other hotel, yet the hotel they're coming in is already, has no issues. When they asked me which hotel am I going to, I told them and they said um, it's not part of the hotels that are allowed to receive people. I think that the list that is given by RBC should be followed by everyone. In case there is any change or an update, it should be known both to the hotels so that uh, people will stop uh, reservations and also the immigration people so that everything will be smooth. On the other hand, other hotels and restaurants that did not face such penalties notes that they are constantly following COVID-19 preventive measures to avoid any penalties and also avoid further spread of the virus. Toute la superficie, ce qui fait vraiment beaucoup de beaucoup d'espace entre les tables. As you can see, I've removed some of the chairs to create enough space, and we're allowed to have 75 percent of our capacity. People are requested to show vaccination certificate before entering the hotel, and we also have different instruments that measure the temperature and make sure that everyone is safe before they access the facility. 300,000. We only have one person to supervise if people are respecting COVID-19 measures, but also reinforce the measures. We added another worker to supervise if measures are being respected. There are only two options, either you follow the rules or if you don't follow them, you face the penalties. The head of tourism regulation department at Rwanda Development Board, Emmanuel Sabimana, has noted that hospitality establishment ought to fully understand and take ownership of the health guidelines to avoid sanctions. The list includes hotels that have recently faced penalties. Some are for last year and one that has been recently closed this month. This was done but we didn't publish it. Three of the 18 are closed but 15 of them are still working because they already faced the penalties and after we visited them and allowed them to reopen. Three that are still closed include Color Club, Amaris Hotel and Canal Olympia at Lebero. And it's not because they did not do what was requested, but it's because they have been recently sanctioned. Amaris has been temporarily closed on the 30th December 2021 and it's been eight days and Canal Olympia was sanctioned on the 2nd of January this year. And if they have finished the sanctions this month, they will be given a green light to reopen. We shall visit them and see if they have done what they are supposed to do. However, some people acknowledge that it is essential for everyone to comply with COVID-19 preventive measures to avoid further spread of the virus. It is good that our government is establishing measures to follow, for we know that if we don't follow them, we and our families might get infected. 
I appreciate it and the government should continue to do so. Among the reasons that lead to closure and sanctions of the 18 hotels and restaurants include employing unvaccinated workers, not respecting the curfew, social distancing, and not complying with other preventive measures of COVID-19. Olive Nete, reporting for RTV News.